Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have a really, really cool video. I'm a little bit nervous about putting this part on my car and uh, hopefully it will turn out well. But let's go ahead and spin the camera and show you what we're gonna be working with here. Okay, so as you guys know, I just did this lip spoiler here on the front lower and it looks fantastic, I love it. And uh, what is up next is these guys right here. So to be completely honest with you guys, I really do like the look that we have going on right now. We do need to do wheels. We're gonna do all that stuff in the near future, of course, with adding power and everything else, but cosmetic stuff, is uh is something i haven't really done a whole lot of before but you know we do want this car to look different so we're going to change up these hood vents and uh see if they look good but again i'm nervous because you know anytime you change something you know especially when you're spending money you, you kind of wonder is it going to look good Are you wasting your time you're wasting your money all of that but let's go ahead to the uh, tabletop and then show you what we got all right so inside of this box we have some goodies soaking it up it says rtr in the box so you can probably start putting the pieces of the puzzle together but here we go we have one item we have two items we don't need this box anymore all right so what we have here in this nice bubble wrap is some RTR hood vents. They are black, they're textured black, just like the other textured black that's on the car. I do kind of wish that these would uh, come with, you know, an available option to be colored, maybe gloss black or whatever the color of your car is. But I do like the fact that these guys right here, this vent is very, very, very open. I think that it looks really, really good. Um, there is a different shape to this all together. This portion here is raised up uh, quite a bit from the other one. We'll put them side by side and compare, but it is kind of OEM looking. Uh, you know, there's other brands out there. You know, I like the Roush stuff, but I think that this looks more so OEM, uh, you know, compared to the one that's on it. And uh, I think it should look good, but we'll see. All right, so jumping back to the car here real quick. You know, we do have the gloss black there we're all familiar with. They do look good um, from the side. You know, they're pretty flat. So these will be raised up a little bit and uh, I think that they will look quite a bit better with the, uh, the bigger spacing in between each of these whatever honeycomb things. But um, I also like the fact that it uses all factory hardware. Everything transfers over. You don't have to drill into your hood like the Roush piece even though you don't have to really do that, there's ways around it. But, but anyway, let's get these guys off here. It's gonna be very simple and compare them side by side against the new RTR vents. All right, so let's pop the hood. Yes, I still got my prop rod. We need to fix that too. Okay, so what we need to do first is pop all of these guys out. There's a bunch of them, don't lose them, don't break them. Uh, just get a little pick tool. Uh, and then pop all of those those out. All right, so I know the lighting is bad. Like I talked about in the last video, when we did the splitter install, you know, I have a means to fix that, so just bear with me. But you can take like one of these guys here and then start popping all of your, your things out. So like that, and you'll just go down the line and get them all free. God bless, I'm dropping them off. Okay, you probably don't need to take the whole thing off, just fold it down like this. And then these look like they're gonna be, I already put a nut on it. It's a uh, nine millimeter, which is just kind of weird, but whatever. You're gonna take four of these guys out, don't drop them. All right, so once those are free, you should be able to pretty much just push up on these guys. So you use one hand and then the other to come up here and catch it so it doesn't fall down. Pretty simple. I know you guys like these how-to videos, so I'm trying to be as specific as possible, uh, giving the lighting and all that. It is actually snowing a little bit out there. <laughs> it's very, very cold, but we're gonna get through it. 
Easy. Okay, so right in front of me, we have them both. And you can kind of see that one is pretty flat, the OEM one, and then the other one has quite a lip on it, just like that. But this is the difference in the center there. So this one is actually pretty hollowed out. You can see what that looks like there, you know, where this one is completely open. Now, this isn't necessarily gonna let any more heat out because that is the hole that we have and it will be the same over here but this is just going to look a lot better so what we need to do now is flip this guy over and this is why i like this kit so much is because you don't have to do anything crazy so these little pins right here are going to transfer over to this guy but we need to get this back plate right here off and it's just going to pretty much pry off and free away from the top piece here and then transfer over there once we have these pins so very, very simple. That's one of the reasons I do like it. It's, it's more of an OEM fit and it's, it's not permanent, which is a good thing too. You know, this is uh, I can transfer back and forth. Okay. So now what we need to do is like I talked about, we're going to separate it. So I got to pick and I'm going to be trying to be gentle and you can see how easy this comes up right here. And then I'm gonna get my other tool and try to fish this thing up and around and it should just pop off. somehow just be careful when you do this stuff you hear it popping so we don't want to break nothing we don't want to damage it but it is popping free very easily very very simple I can just pop it. There we go. So that separates pretty easy. You have some of the just tape down here, and that's what's basically holding that to this right here. So now, what we need to do is very carefully, you see how these are kind of free floated in there? We want to pull these out of this hole just like that, and they just pop out, and we'll set them to the side in order. Just be careful. Like that. And that's it. So now we can put this guy to the side. And then these are side specific. So we are going to put these back in here just like they came out. That's it. Take our back piece here. And this will just clip on so something else here these are little clips well, let's see if yeah you guys can see that in the camera and then they clip over this area here like this and that's it so that is what it's going to look like assembled very very cool I guess if uh, you had a drum on all that, you could probably cut this higher or uh, make this hole bigger if you really wanted to. But, you know, we'll just leave it like it is. But I like the fact that it pretty much uses the existing hardware that came with the car. Um, and it makes it very reversible if you ever want. Wanted to put the other ones back on. All right, just checking again to make sure everything is secure. And it is, if you guys like these how-to videos, uh, definitely, you know, drop me a, a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And uh, let's go ahead and put it on the car and see how it looks versus the other one before we take them both off because nobody's doing that in the internet. And I want to I want to see how these things compare on the car before we do the whole swap. So very very simple. They're just going to drop in place. All right. So you don't need to mess with any of this bottom plastic there. Once it's on, it's on. And uh, there's not a lot of heat that comes out of this thing anyway. This is pretty much your little hole down here. Let's see if we can get under there and look. So not a lot of daylight comes through there. Um, it's definitely a bigger opening inside of the, the thing than this allows. I guess maybe some people could modify them, but anyway, let's go ahead and put the screws back on and lower the hood, see how it looks. 
Also, real quick, guys, if you're using any kind of power tools, you're dealing with plastic. So lowest setting down there, uh, if you can help it. But I would definitely not put any kind of torque on any of this. So I'm going to take this 9 mil off, put it on a regular uh, wrench, and then get it tight that way. That way I don't snap any of the plastic because then you're screwed if you do that. So, okay. So here is what they look like side by side. There is a big difference. Hopefully the camera, you can really tell, but a kind of a significant difference there. So the front part of that one pops up and that one's pretty flush. And uh, yeah, that looks interesting. But that's how that looks like on the car. So I can get a good wide angle so you guys can really kind of see how this looks. My car is absolutely filthy. The weather has been terrible, but that looks pretty cool actually. Stock, and then you got that one. So you can see how it's raised up a little bit. I think that looks actually pretty cool. I'm, I was really afraid how this would look. Of course, we're gonna back it out in the driveway and then put it in the sunlight and uh, see how it looks. All right, so only one thing left to do and that's the other side and that will wrap this up. Looks good, looks good. So I may or may not paint these guys later on. I don't know yet. I don't know if we're going to do like a gloss black to go with the, the rest of the gloss that's on the car, but you know, eventually this grill may get changed out for something different. I don't know. And then, you know, whatever wheel choice we go with, but let me know, should I, uh, paint it? You know, what would you do with this? Maybe body color. I don't know. You know, it would be cool if it was kind of red and just leave the center here black and just do the red, same as the car. So it looks something similar to that, but just a little bit more aggressive. I don't know. I'll probably drive around for a few weeks and, uh, you know, try to get used to it. And if I don't, then we'll, we'll probably paint it or do something, but let me know. Well, you probably can't tell, but it is snowing. Look at this. Yep. There we go. Oh man. Oh man. But here we go. Finished product. I think that those look pretty sick. I was really worried about how I would like the black and them not being painted, but now that they're both on the car, especially with that front splitter there, I think the car is coming together very, very nicely. We just need, again, some aggressive wheels, drop it, and you know, all that stuff. You guys know that this whole thing never ends. As Stang Mode might say, um, it's the winter time, so we're gonna do some cosmetic stuff and then get this thing looking very sinister, but, it looks really, really good. Has a very nice OEM fit. It is reversible if you don't like them. You know, you could always sand them down and paint them, do whatever you want to. But I think that I actually might leave it like this for a while. I think it looks really, really good. So I do want to jump in the car and see if I can see these things from my seating position. Just, and I can. So right here is pretty much eye level as I would look out of the hood. And this is how everything looks. So you can barely see them there. But I think that that looks really, really cool. You definitely can see them. If I go really, really high, I do tend to sit a little bit higher. So I can see the arch of the fender a little bit. But that looks really cool. Very, very impressed. So... <laughs> Okay, so now as the snow falls, we're gonna walk around the car and take a look at this. I think it looks great. Look at that. Oh, I do like it with it being black. That looks really cool. Look at that side profile. This thing is starting to really come together and look mean, just mean as hell.
I like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I actually don't mind the grill with the matte black because you still have the matte black on the back of the, uh, the trunk down there. But wow, 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 wow. Very impressed. Looks like it's ready for the track. What do you think? I love it. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. The car in the back there that is surrounded by sunlight. Very, very impressed with, let me get back in the sunlight here. So here we go. Very, very, very impressed with the products there from RTR. I think it looks fantastic. I think it's a great addition uh, to the whole Carnage theme. I think it's really coming together. I love it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm gonna get out of the snow because it's starting to really come down here. And we are in Tennessee, so this is like a rare thing. So we're gonna let the beard grow out so we can keep warm as always. It is no, it is no shave November, but anyway. Um, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, drop a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe away. Turn the notification bell on because this is just the beginning.